This is a BCH Sports Wildcat Report from Jacksonville, Florida. David, it was definitely a difficult game for the ACU Wildcats as they fall by 35 today to the Kentucky Wildcats. But let's not forget, this was a number two overall seed here in the tournament. And Kentucky is a blue blood, as we had mentioned, all throughout the week. And above all else, we saw today the size of Kentucky matching up with ACU. I mean, it was just unfair, quite frankly. You have 6'10 guys going up against guys that are 6'6", 6'5", which doesn't sound like a huge difference, but it really was, especially in the paint. Kentucky just made sure they nailed absolutely everything within the paint itself. Uh, Kentucky is all that. You know, they're really, really good. Uh, it's the best team we've played uh, this year, uh, them in Texas Tech. We wish them the best of luck. I'm proud of our guys. They didn't quit. Uh, they represented our university and our city in a first-class manner tonight, and they've done that all year, so I'm extremely proud of them. At the end of the day, I mean, it just stings losing like that and uh, being me, Jalen, and Hayden's last game. Uh, it just hurts, but it was a great experience, something we'll probably never forget. For ACU Nation out there in Wildcat Nation, this was a huge win nonetheless because ACU got its name on the map. And officially, everybody in the country now knows where Abilene is. And even more importantly, they know where Throckmorton is. Reporting in Jacksonville for BigCountryHomePage.com Sports, I'm Dusty Baker. Back to you, David.